So as you can see, uh, I've hit a pretty big milestone this week, and I have the gantry mounted. Uh, so you can see now what may have been difficult to see before. Uh, So that's the x-axis and here's the y-axis. Obviously the z-axis is yet to come. Um, so there's a little bit of racking. Uh, if I try to move the one end, the other end, and delays a little bit. But that's okay, that's kind of the way it's uh, uh, designed to be because it's going to be driven by a motor on each side. So the two motors will work in unison to move the x-axis. Uh, the y-axis just has the one motor on top and the z-axis is going to be a lead screw. Um, so uh, let's see what was tricky about this. It was tricky getting the uh, the gantry uh, onto the risers uh, mostly because I used the uh, uh, the carriage bolts as I described earlier instead of the t-nuts here so it means I had to slide all the carriage bolts in here so eight bolts on, on each side sticking out and I had to uh, kind of prop the gantry up. Uh, on, I had to set my toolbox here in the middle of the table and lift the gantry up and then slide the risers over uh, to meet it and then carefully align all those carriage bolts. Uh, uh, so that was kind of tricky but I managed it uh, without having to uh, go find anyone else to help me lift this thing. So uh, let's see what's left to come. The uh, the the Z axis, obviously, I have to do. Um, there's a whole lot of uh, electronics work to do. Um, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, get all those rest of those parts in this week and start uh, start working on that. Uh, uh, in my free time, but I'm I'm pretty pleased with this so far. So there it is. Check back.